Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a formula that will work out a running total for the last 12 months of sales in this example and the average total for the last 12 months of sales. So I've got some figures and dates here. Um, what I'm going to use is the sum if and average if functions. So basically, I only want the last 12 months of, from this list, so not all of it. Uh, obviously, you can do a, a total to give you the total. In fact, let's just do that. Let's have a total. Let's have a last 12 months total and last 12 month average. AVG will do for average. Just double click on that to widen that out a bit. So that's what we're going to have. In fact, I need to put total on that one. Total like so. Double click again. Cut type total. I did press total. Just, I blame the keyboard. Okay, so this is just a basic sum. But if you click on the sum function, I've got it up here. Um, it's just going to shoot to the right. And if I highlight all of that, click the tick. Yeah, I do get the sum. And if I highlight it, just to double check. That is the sum. But if I start adding things below that, he doesn't pick it up because that's just looking to that list. So I, I want to name these columns. So no matter what goes in this column, it will be picked up. So I'm going to highlight the whole column and call it sales and press enter. That's sales. And I'll highlight this column and call it date and press enter. So I've now named that. So I could now go sum sales instead of all that I still get the same answer but if I type anything down here you see that picked it up straight away so it's on 117,000 back to 113,000 so I think that's a good way of making sure you're capturing the right list now obviously if this things below this that are not related you won't be able to do that because um, this list is unique to sales so you've got to make sure that that's exactly what it is before you name it now, to get the last 12 months sales, I need to use the sum if function, and I'm going to use the today function, which is the computer gives you the today function, gives you today's date. So the sum if function, first of all, equals, not two equals, equals sum if, open bracket. So the range I want to look down is called date, and there it is there, so you can just type it or double click on it. Now, the criteria is going to be the dynamic part of this. I need to put greater than and equals to in quotes like that. That is a must. You must put it in those speech marks, double double quotes, which is shift and two. And then comma. Now, this is where I need to concatenate the um, today function. In fact, I don't need to do a comma there. That's not yet. I need to do the and sign because it's still the criteria. Then the today function with an open and close bracket on it. So that's the criteria. That is the dynamic part. And then I do a comma. And then I'm now going to add up the sales. So I'll type in sales. And then press enter on that. It's telling me do I want to close a bracket? Yeah, I do. And it's come up with a blank score on the door. Because I've missed off date that I want to knock off the day so I want to put minus three six five there and then it comes up with fifty two thousand fifty two thousand so if I highlight from here back to November fifty two thousand that's it that's what I want so that's doing it so the today function with the and sign that's joining the function together with the with the sum if the minus 365 is 365 days from today. You could put minus 90, minus 30, whatever you want. That would work. Now, because I've used name ranges, I should better pull that across to do the average. Let's widen this a bit. And then just change that to average if. Average if. So that's giving me the average over that 12-month period. 
£4,000. So I use this little formula, both of these formulas on my gas and electric spend. So I've, I've got a running total for the last 12 months and then I've got the average um, as well and obviously the grand total. So that's just a quick look at how you can create a running total based on a list of figures that's constantly growing. So if I add anything down here, so if I go, I'll just pull that down an extra couple and then just go down with these. So when I let go, these, these figures should change and they do change. So because I've used name ranges, it's going to pick that up. So hopefully you found that of use. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.